Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and today on the Hungry Hussy Cook Show, I'm gonna show you how I do our Thanksgiving turkey. That's right, I meant to do this. I've been doing this now for almost five years. Got about a 14 pound turkey, frozen turkey, the standard old turkey from the, from the supermarket. And yeah, we're gonna cook it over on the big green egg. You can do this in the oven. I did it on the big green egg for the longest time. Little story, little story behind uh, Thanksgiving. My mom, uh, I've, my, my mom, she's 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 passed. She's she's not with us anymore. But uh, I used to cook the turkey, and I, I did the turkey. We did Thanksgiving at my house for a good while, and I used to cook it a different way. I used to fry turkeys, and then I got the big green egg, and I said I'm gonna I'm gonna cook it at my grill this year, Mama. And she she was not she was not very thrilled that I was gonna do that. I did it did it anyway. After that turkey, she said, don't deep fry another turkey. So I do a turkey every year in that big green egg, and that's what we're going to do. So first things first, uh, just to give you a kind of overview, we're going to dry brine this turkey uh, 24, 12 to 24 hours. Uh, just a little simple salt, just dry brine, stick it in your fridge, let that thing dry out, let that salt kind of penetrate into your bird. It'll be good groceries, guarantee it. All right, so we have our bird. Um, just take it out of the package. This was in, you know, the, the plastic. Just take it off and I've patted this dry. Okay, so got about a 14 pound bird here. Um, you know, I've still leave this in for a little while. It's okay to leave it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna dry brine this. And how we do that is I'll take some salt. Now, you may not need all this salt. But uh, a couple of tablespoons of salt. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of salt. You can make this as simple or as elaborate as possible. I just do salt. I do a little bit of a little bit of zest of a lemon. You can also do some orange. There we go. And then just stir this around. Nice and fragrant salt. Just kind of bring it around. One thing I like to do is I like to just kind of take the skin. And I like to get some of this brine because really the skin will not allow anything to penetrate. And then start taking some of your, your dry brine. I just kind of drop it in, let gravity, let gravity help me out there. Try to take it in there. Also like to sprinkle some in the cavity. And then we'll bring it on this side. Just come in here and just start sprinkling. I'm gonna make sure it's all got a little bit of salt on it. Right in here, give attention to that. You got breasts right here. You got the top side of the breast. Bring some of that in there. Just kind of rub it around. Get you some nice gloves too. I like to also peel this skin back right there where it's going into the drum, uh, the leg, and the thigh and stuff. And just kind of throw some, throw some salt in there. Same on this side. All right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put this in the fridge uncovered for at least 12 hours, preferably overnight, 24 hours total. If you don't have that time, it's fine. Do what you can. Today we're gonna to be using a grill gun to uh, light our big green egg. They reached out to me and said, hey, would you mind trying this out? Let us know what you think about it to light your big green egg, light your other items. I light my fireplace with it outside. Love, 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 really love this unit. It starts fast, it's pretty neat, it's very compact. It's not like the big weed torch where Got to carry around a big 20 pound grill bottle. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, interested down below, you'll see a link for grill gun. Uh, and it'll be also be in my link tree as well. And uh, enter code hungry hussy for a little bit of treat for you, a little 10% off. All right, check them out, grill gun, you'll love it. All right, so while the egg's coming up to temp, I got my Thermalworks smoke. Got it in here monitoring, we're at 175 degrees. Want to get that up about 300, 325, put a turkey on. So it's got a little ways to go. We got our bird out of the refrigerator. Uh, very, very nice, it's dry, it's tacky. Uh, there will be a little bit of fluid here in the bottom. That's just that salt doing the work. So no big deal, don't fret out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a nice treatment on the uh, on the outside of the turkey. 
And what better way to do a little bit of butter. I'm gonna do two sticks of butter. Um, I'm not going too crazy here. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of garlic, a little bit of garlic. Just come in here with your hands, mix it up. Remember I already got salt on, you know, salt brine is there. And then we're gonna rub this turkey all around. Butter's not gonna penetrate. It's gonna help the skin. It's gonna help it brown. It's gonna help it do some good stuff. So it's not gonna really do anything special except for its browning properties. We're not gonna stuff this bad boy. We're just gonna, uh, just gonna go kind of easy, kind of plain. It's gonna take some butter. I'm gonna put up under here, right there on those breasts. You know what I forgot to do, y'all? Forgot to put a little salt in this mixture. Just a little bit more, and I forgot to put pepper. This is gonna be fun. How am I gonna do this? Ready? That'll work. Oh well. We'll just omit some pepper right now. It'd be okay. You don't always need pepper. Uh, you do want a little bit of salt, uh, and it helps. Just helps the season. Okay, all around. Just want to like massage it. Just like give it a mac massage right there. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Put it in all the crevices. Everything. Do this bottom side as well. Another little tip. I try to get up into the cavity also. Get a little butter flavor in there. Get in all these little little crevices. All right, so I'm cleaned up. Now, add a little bit more salt to the top. Nothing too crazy. You, know, you could use any kind of herbs, you know, thyme, rosemary, etc. We're going real simple with this, okay? So I'm gonna use our roasting rack. What I like about using this roasting rack, this is a big, the big green egg roasting rack, is it keeps everything kind of tight. Uh, don't it don't let everything flop very much. I'm gonna come in here with my meat probe. I'm gonna come right into the thick piece of this breast right here. Yeah, go right in there. This will be done when it's about 165 degrees internal temperature to that breast. We'll also, when it gets closer, we'll start temping it with our thermopin. All right, eggs up to 325 now. We're gonna add uh, two small chunks of applewood and that's it. Uh, poultry takes on a lot of smoke. So we're gonna lift this out of there. I'm gonna put this neatly right there. One right there, one right there. Perfect. Now, it's gonna lift up, get our turkey. And there we go. Oop. All right, change of plans. I want to put this right on our plate setter, just like that. Alrighty, see you in a little while, turkey. Been a couple hours, like two hours. Let's see where this bird is. Oh man, look at that. She's a beauty. I'm gonna come in here. This is this leftover butter. We're just gonna come in here, drizzle it over the top. We're currently setting at 137 degrees internal in that breast. Not much longer, it's just gonna be done. All right, y'all, hey, let's check it out. Let's check out this turkey. See where we're at. We're a little high right here, but that's okay. So we're at 165, oh man, this is juice is just rolling out right there. So right here, we're at 168 degrees. Perfect, perfect. Get our gloves on. Love having to smoke. I got this little item right here. Take it all around. All around the property. It's good for about a mile. Love that product. Love my thermopin too. Look at that. Beautiful turkey. Beautiful. We'll let this set for a couple minutes. Just let it kind of chill out. We'll slice into it, give it a try, all right? Come back. All right, y'all. Just give us a try. I wanna come right here. You hear that? Boy, that crust. Let's see what we got here. Come in here. Beautiful. Come in here. Boy, this thing's juicy. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful breast. I'm just gonna, look at all that juice right there. Just kind of coming out. Look at that. Dripping juice. Let's give it a try. Oh man. I feel good turkey. Nice and juicy. Hey Maggie, good girl. Maggie likes it too, boy. <clears throat> get that get that dry, Brian. Give it a try. You'll love it. Well, hey, there you have it. Thanksgiving turkey on the big green egg. You can also do it in your oven too. Don't don't fret out about it. If you don't have an egg, you can do a pellet grill. Oven doesn't matter. Just principles the same. Dry brine. Uh, season it, butter, a little bit of smoke, perfect. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, subscribe. If you hate it, two thumbs down. So, also there's a join button. If you want to join the channel, uh, hit that join button. You get a lot of little perks, behind the scenes, giveaways, etc. If not, no big deal, no obligation. Y'all, hey, oh, also, I'll give a little shout out to my boy, Ed, Leland from the OTC crew, Off The Chain Cooking on Facebook group. Great, great site, got a lot of talent in there. Thanks Leland for this sweet shirt. I appreciate it, my friend. Hey y'all, I love each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. Bye y'all.